Christians proclaim that Jesus is the only way of salvation, the only way to forgiveness and eternal life, the only way to God. In our day and age, however, many consider this to be unacceptable and deeply offensive. But why? Isn't it possible that Jesus is the only way? Many people object, saying, if Jesus is the only way, then what about people who've never heard of him? They don't have a chance to be saved. But they do. God is not unfair. The Bible says that God wants all persons to be saved. Those who have never heard of Christ will not be judged on the basis of what they don't know. They'll be judged on the basis of what they do know. So, what do people who have never heard of Christ know? There are two truths God has revealed to everyone, everywhere. First, He exists. We all know this by observing the natural world around us. And second, there's a moral law. We all know this by experiencing our conscience within us. Every one of us has a moral sense of right and wrong. So those who never hear of Christ can still respond to the light they have been given in nature and conscience. On the basis of their knowledge of God and the moral law, they can turn to God for forgiveness and new life. Just like people who lived prior to the time of Christ, they can be saved through Christ, even though they haven't heard of Christ. But what about people who don't respond to God's self-revelation in nature and conscience? Granted, they freely separate themselves from God by rejecting His self-revelation to them. And God won't force them to believe if they don't want to. But maybe they would have believed in Christ if only they had heard about Him. Are they just victims of bad luck, born at the wrong time and place in history? No, for according to the Bible, the times and places that people are born is not the result of accident. Rather, God decides where and when each person will live. So it's possible that God has so ordered the world that anyone who would believe in Christ if he heard about him is created at a time and a place in history where he does hear about him. Thus, no one is lost through historical or geographical accident. Anyone who wants or even would want to be saved will be saved. Our eternal destiny truly lies in our own hands. So, how about you? God made every nation of men, that they should inhabit the whole earth, and He marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek Him and perhaps reach out for Him and find Him, though He is not far from any one of us.